Hello, this is a video on how to import labeled Gmail emails into Google Sheets using App Script. I'm going to leave this spreadsheet that already has the script in it in the description of the video and you can just download it and use it for your own Gmail. Please note that this script will only extract the Gmails that are connected to the Google account that you're using your Google Sheets. So for example, right now I am using spreadsheetables at gmail.com the gmail inbox that is going to be extracting the information from is also from spreadsheetables at gmail.com you are going to have to label your emails if you don't know how to label right click and then go to label s and then you can enter the name in here you create new or you can add to any other labels that you already have if you're wanting to label like mass label the emails you can go here right click find emails from YouTube this will find the emails from the sender you can select them all over here make sure you select all and then you can click here and label as and then you give your label once you have that label you will see over here it will show labels and then you will see I'm going to be using this one right here inbox go back to the script and then you're gonna change it here and you're gonna put your label exactly as it show on the Gmail Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and save. And that is it. So the information that I am pulling right now is date, sender, subject, and full body. But there are other parameters that you can use to pull other kinds of information. This spreadsheet will have this for, and you can just go ahead and click run. You can see here that it's going to start adding all of my emails. It's going to be pulling all the emails from Gmail. So it's giving me the date the sender the subject and the full body now i've resized the rows so it the, the, it doesn't open all the way but if you want to see the full comment you can just double click and you should you know you should see your entire image in here like this one for example it's a little bigger but you just double click and you can see it all and then this is going to continue to be running you can just stop over here now if this is your first time running the script you are going to have to give permission when you select run, it will show authorization request or something like that. Just go ahead and go all the way and give permission for that to run. Otherwise, the script will not work. Once you run this the first time, you can add a trigger to make sure that it automatically imports the, G the emails every single day or whatever amount of time that you set on your trigger so you don't have to manually come back to the spreadsheet and just run this you can it will just run automatically for you so just go over here go to trigger and then you're going to click down here to add a trigger and then you're going to choose which function to run which is we only have this one function over here so it's the export emails to sheet and then here select the event source you're going to select time driven and then select type of time based trigger so you can select if you want it to run it every day, if you want this to run every hour, if you want this to run every minute, per week, per month, or you can set a specific time and day. So let's say I want to set this to run once a day. Just click day timer, and then here you can select the time of the day that you want this to run. So let's say I want this to run from 4 to 5 a.m right before I wake up so every day I can come back in here and check this spreadsheet and then you can just click save and this script will run every day at 4 a.m. and it will automatically add all the information in here for you I hope this video was helpful I have written a blog post I'm gonna link in the description of the video as well it shows you the other parameters that you can use to select other information from here also if you don't know how to edit this script to add the other parameters that you want to pull the information from in the blog post i also added how you can use chat gpt or your ai of choice to edit the script for you and i entered the prompt that you can ask and how you can ask chat gpt to make sure that it writes the code for you basically this is it for this video i hope this was helpful i'll talk to you later